Hey, what's up guys? It's Jaded. So today I wanted to go over the patch 105 sneak peek that they put out. Um, we got some unexpected news. Uh, I don't think anyone expected what they hinted at is going to be in this patch. Um, you know, we all thought it was going to be balancing, adding in the uh, legendary notification when it drops. Uh, you know, a bunch of little stuff. We didn't expect anything big, but we actually got something much more than that. So let's start off with what they're doing with defensive skills and then we'll get into the, the more meaty content. So they said, you know, in their eternal quest to promote build diversity, they're gonna change up how the defensive skills across the board are like, like how powerful they are. They're gonna reduce the effectiveness of them. And then to counter that, they're gonna reduce any incoming damage. So we're not going to be relying on defensive skills as much. We could switch up our builds and that's really, that's really cool. I like that. Um, what it means though is stuff like Warcry, stuff like uh, Prismatic Armor uh, or Energy Armor. I forget the exact names of some, some other class skills, but really across the board, all defensive skills are getting nerfed. This is what it sounds like. So every single skill that has some type of passive armor you know increasing or all resist increasing or survivability thing is going to be less effective so what does this mean well it means we could probably drop things like war cry put on something more interesting like rend um you know in the footage behind you i was playing around with rend again and making it work but i still find myself dying a little bit too often so I just like to play with it every now and then, but what it'll mean for this patch is maybe I can play with Rend all the time, uh, even though my gear is not the best. And other classes, probably Wizard, not gonna have to play with, you know, some Wizards have like Diamond Skin and Prismatic Armor and, you know, other defensive skills, so, you know, it might change up things a lot. It might change up the scene, kind of reinvigorate the builds and things like that. Um, and, and there's one more thing that's interesting with this, but it kind of revolves around the other things that they announced. So let's go on to the next one. So this is probably the meat of this patch. This is going to be like the, the content. This is actual new content for us because right now um, we're just doing one type of gameplay. Uh, we go in, we kill monsters, and it's kind of made the game stale. It's made the game a little stale for people watching it on you know Twitch and on YouTube and things like that. So basically what they're adding here is what in Diablo 2 was the uber versions of bosses. So you're gonna have to go out, uh, work towards getting this device, they call it, the Infernal Machine, um, and it's going to allow you to get to these bosses to kill them and to get rewards that hopefully is nowhere else in the game or is really, really good. Um, something really worth our time in doing and they say that some assemblies required so I'm guessing it's similar to the staff the Herodric staff where you know you go to the cow level or uh, whimsy shire so you know there's a lot of unknowns with this first off what type of bosses are we gonna have to clear trash are we gonna have to you know clear champ packs because if you have to do the same stuff that you're already doing the gameplay won't be that interesting unless the bosses are like way cool. So I'm hoping, here's what I'm hoping, is you know, you, you, you clear mobs to get this device together, but um, you know, when it comes to the bosses, it's just the bosses on their own once you go in there, or very few trash mobs, because what that's gonna allow us to do is change up our builds as well for this specific uh, part of the content for the game. So you know, maybe running a whirlwind spec is not the best when facing these bosses. Uh, maybe, you know, pulling in some of those defensive skills just specifically for this stuff, um, such as ignore pain, uh, you know, maybe even changing up your, your, your like whole skill set entirely. We'll have to see. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's new content. We didn't expect this. So that's really, really awesome. I'm actually more excited for this patch now because, uh, you know, depending on how cool this stuff is, it could really bring new life to the game. And then the third thing they announced was um, the ability to make your game act like it has four players in it. Um, you know, they, they mentioned the player's eight command in Diablo 2, 
which essentially made all the mobs as hard as having eight players in the game, uh, but you could have just yourself in there. And uh, the reason for doing this would be to get more loot and to get more XP for killing the mobs. So uh, I just want to clarify something. In Diablo 2, the reason it gave more loot was that's just how the game worked. When more people were in the game, mobs dropped more loot because everyone saw the same loot. In Diablo 3, it's not that it's, it's not the case. We don't really know if it's going to increase loot drops, but my guess is it's just XP boosting um, and then making the mobs tougher. It might be more than that. We don't know, but uh, that's just my guess. The cool thing, though, is the fact that if you're like me and you're running a whirlwind barb, it does way too much damage. Uh, you know, you're at the point where you're getting more gear, more strength, more crit damage, just more stats in general. Mobs die way too fast, you don't get the fury, etc. Blah blah blah, you know, first world problem. But uh, what this is gonna do is make the mobs tougher so you don't run into that problem. Um, and anyone else, you know, maybe there's a wizard who just straight up does just overkilling mobs um, can now get more XP out of that. That's, that's really for the um, people who are rocking like a lot of gear and they're more towards the very, very end game. But I was thinking about it too, and maybe running other acts will have purpose again, especially if the loot drops better, but uh, I can't imagine that happening. So, you know, maybe running act one with like four players in the game, it, it might be e efficient. Another question is if you're playing co-op with two people, like say I'm playing with a whirlwind barb, uh, and I'm a whirlwind barb myself, currently how it works is uh, we just can't really work together because we need the mobs to stay alive uh, Like I said before and there's just a lot of missed opportunity there for co-op because the mobs just die too fast But if you could co-op and set it to four players, you know That might actually be a good way to reinvigorate co-op as well But uh, I guess we'll have to see with that stuff. These were just three very big things coming with the patch uh, There's more there's balancing there's probably a lot of fixes, probably a lot of little little tiny features that are going to make this a lot more polished of a game. But, uh, you know, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this patch. I like seeing what they come out with and uh, how they handle all this stuff. You know, it's really kind of in the dark at the moment. I have to imagine it comes out on Tuesday. Um, so that's really soon. I mean, only a couple days away. So you probably expect the patch notes as well to come out very soon. So that's it for the sneak peek, guys. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time.